Hey everybody, this is Jessica from Jessica Lynn Original Studios. Don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to scan that code in the upper right hand corner. We do have some really fun notebooks available on Amazon now. But today we are going to go ahead and make another one of those really fun Mickey Mouse ear window, uh, I call them window or hotel door decor. You could also frame these. Um, we've made these for quite a few years and every time we go on vacation, we always bring some with us and I love it. And so this year marks a very special anniversary for my husband and I. Uh, Team Mold was founded in 2002, July 13th and that makes it 19 years this year i don't know how but 19 years ago i married aaron and one of the gifts that we got was this really pretty and i'm i'm not a precious moments fan per se but i do love their series that they did with some of the disney characters and one of my favorite ones we actually got uh, after we got married and it was the bride and groom and they each had on mickey ears now, back in 2002, when you were a bride and groom and you went to the parks, it literally was a white Mickey hat, not a headband, but a hat with a huge veil on the back. And then they would embroider your name on there, the year, the date, whatever you wanted. And for the guy, he actually, Aaron actually got a, it's a top hat. So it wasn't even like the traditional Mickey hat with the ears. It truly was a top hat. And... We wore those around the parks almost the entire time. Again, we were there in July, so the weather was very similar to what we got going on right now. A little less rain, lots and lots of sun, 90s, humidity. And the best part was, was that honeymoon to the Wilderness Lodge. And that honeymoon, we were there for nine nights, 10 days. Uh, when we were there, oh my goodness, he had never been to Disney World before. So I, I didn't even know what that meant. And so he had never been there, it's his first trip ever. And so he had never gone on Pirates Haunted Mansion, never eaten in a restaurant. And so we saved up and decided that we were going to do the all-inclusive. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it was crazy. We literally got full, three full sit-down meals every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We got snacks. Um, it included some light beverage, alcohol kind of stuff. If we wanna, I don't drink and neither did he, so we didn't really take partake of that. Um, it included snacks. It included every recreational opportunity Disney offered. So we went parasailing. We went jet skiing. We went waterboarding. We rented jet skis. I mean, it was crazy. We, I, it, the coolest part was is to know that he had never been to Disney World before. And I literally said, boom, what do you want to do? Everything is ours. And I'll tell you, it made it the most amazing honeymoon ever. Because I have such a passion and love for that park, um, for those parks. Being at Disney World down in Florida, it's just, it's my happy place. And for someone who cares and loves about that park so much, and I just, I, I don't know, it's just, it always makes me happy when I'm there. You know, I go through the gate and literally I feel like everything else is left at home. And I don't have a whole lot of vacation memories where I would leave things behind except for Disney. And so that's, I think, why it's one of my favorite happy places, you know. Um, and that was even before we had kids. But the cool part is, is that because of that, literally Aaron was introduced to almost all of the restaurants. We ate at Narcoosie's. We ate at most of the restaurants at the Poly. We ate almost all, we did eat actually all the ones at Wilderness because we stayed there. We stayed, um, let me see, we ate all over Epcot. Um, I think I could probably, I think I would probably be better off listing the ho the restaurants we didn't eat at, which I can only think of three well, anyway, it was a ton of fun. Um, I know that we rented uh, jet skis for entirely too long. And one of the days we actually came back almost purple. It was so bad. We were just having so much fun. Parasailing, amazing. I mean, so crazy to parasail. And you do it right over by the contemporary. And so we could see right up and over, kind of. And we could see the whole Magic Kingdom. We rented a pontoon boat. We did the hoop de doo The only show we didn't do there was the Hawaiian Review. Um, and that's only because we had already booked a different place he wanted for dinner that night. And that was the only other night left. But it was such an amazing time. And the best part is now, 19 years later, 
and we're heading back to lodge. Now we have been at the lodge many times since then, but when we had kids, we decided to stay longer and downgrade our hotels a little bit because we knew we were going to have to go back and take naps and we knew we'd have to go back and take, you know, relaxation breaks. And so we decided to stay for like pop a couple times. The kids uh, really were excited and loved art of animation. Um, so we've done other hotels as well, but there's something to be said about like the lodge. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. And I'm not selling it to you because it's our favorite place. So guys go stay other places. Cause I like the quiet lodge, but I'm just teasing. Um, but there is something to be said about the Wilderness Lodge. And for us personally, because it had such an amazing memory, we've gone on trips where we've rented a condo before, or we've rented a house and stayed done that kind of stuff. And I'll be really honest, there are times when we've had like the start of a bad trip. And I jokingly say to him, okay, let's go to the lodge and have lunch, or let's go and, you know, have the, the big skillet for breakfast. Let's go. And all of a sudden the entire trip turns around. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just the weirdest thing, but I am so blessed and I'm very lucky. I mean, I have my husband and I, 19 years, we have two beautiful little girls who are Disney addicts, just like us. They love it. And so I thought it'd be really fun to draw our little, um, our little figurine. We actually have this, it's put away right now. Um, cause I don't want it broken with the kids, but we have it as a figurine. So I, I drew the picture up, doodled it up, and then I added the hat and the ears. Um, so if you're looking for it and you'd like it, just toss me a message and I can send it to you. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. And then the little banner, um, I did that in Word. And so I just added the happy 19th wedding anniversary, Erin and Jessica on our dates. And what we're going to do is we are going to take this with us when we go down to the lodge um, in a couple of weeks. I cannot wait. Um, we are so excited. I seriously, I just, I'm so ready after all of this junk, just ready to get back to life. And um, we're going to go ahead and laminate this and then we're going to put it up on our door. So I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. I love it. A lot of people will do this like on the Disney cruises, um, but we actually sometimes will put them in our window. Like at Pop, we decorated our whole window with a Toy Story theme, other characters. Um, I have a bunch of other videos, so take a look at those. Um, I do make these custom as well. So if you are looking for one um, or even a wedding one, if you like this, I'll make it look like you guys, you know, change the colors. Just send me a message um, and I would love to, to work with you. But yeah, I'm going to color this up on here. I'm going to color it brown. I'm going to try to make it look like, um, for those of you that have eaten at uh, some of the restaurants at Disney, um, oh, I can't wait to be yelling ketchup and everybody and their brother bring ketchup over to our table. And man, I, I just, I love the lodge. Waking up every morning, that lodge always smells like coffee. I don't drink coffee either, but I love the smell of it. And it just kind of, wafts through the whole lobby. Love it. Oh, I can't wait to go. All right, so let's go ahead and find some paper. And I was digging through this stack that I found. I had this stack for quite a long time. Um, and I, there was something about the little checkerboard. It reminded me of two things. One, it reminded, well, actually three things now that I say it. One, it reminds me of like um, some dance floors. Now, the dance floor my husband and I had when we got married didn't look like a checkerboard, but I've been to a lot of weddings that do have like a checkerboard floor, which is fun. Um, so kind of remind me of that. It reminded me of the checkers that they have over in uh, Frontierland, over by um, the bears, the country bears. And that it also sort of has this wilderness lodge just feel to it. Like, doesn't it just have that little wood grain? I don't know. I love it. I'm really excited. In person, it's so much, it just adds a little bit more perspective and it's wood. So like the lighter brown, you can see all the wood grain. So it just makes it feel lodge-like. Oh, I love it. Oh, and I can't wait for Snow White's dinner to come back. I'm so excited. I want that to come back. Pre-pandemic, we had had a vacation booked that ended up over the pandemic that we had a reservation for, of course. We had like a great time and the daughters were all excited. One was going to dress like the evil queen and the other one was going to dress like Snow White. And of course, life changed that plan. So I'm hoping that we get to, to do that someday soon. But yeah, so let's go ahead and color up this little arch banner and then we'll finish putting this together. I'm so excited. 
Oh, I can't wait to see it's done. Oh my gosh, this is just looking so cute. Now, because the shapes went over the ears just a little bit, I just wanted to give them a little more stability. I will be laminating this before we take it down there. Um, so that'll help as well. But I wanna make sure it's gonna hold up because otherwise they, especially if you put them in the window. Now at the Wilderness Lodge, they've got the wood doors and there's not really a glass window there. Granted, there's a window out to the outside, but nobody's gonna see this kind of detail. So it'll probably go up on our door. But I found these this little tree paper that I had in my scrap bin and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cut out like little Wilderness Lodge hearts. They look so cute. They almost look like checkers, like they could have been hearts and like hearts and X's, like X's and O's. Oh my gosh, I totally missed opportunity now that I'm doing the voiceover later, right? That would have been fun. And the little birds, you'll notice that there are two little pink birds because I have two little girls. And so I really wanted to kind of give, you know, a little homage to them and a little honor to my, to my little girls that uh, are going to be with us on this trip. I can't wait. Oh, this looks so cute. I'm going to outline these, just add a little glitter pen. Um, when you do laminate um, something, just so you know, the glitter pen will still show the glitter. So don't worry about that. You won't lose that, which always makes me happy because, you know, if I'm going to put the time in. Um, and I did put a lot of glitter pen trying to make it look like beadwork on the dress. Um, my dress didn't have that little shawl thing, but I did have a big bow and off the, it was, you know, off the shawl. It was so cute. Love this so much. Yeah, my bucket list in the next couple of anniversaries is I definitely want to get out to Disney Hawaii, you know, with a stopover in California so that we could go and see Avengers Land and all that good stuff and all the updates that we have because we haven't seen Cars Land either. So let's go ahead and take a look at this closer. You can see all the little dots that look like beadwork. There's my girls. Um, you can also see there we are, all jeweled up, sparkly hair, big Mickey hats. I actually still have those hats. We actually had them displayed for a while on our wall. So there it is. Happy 19th wedding anniversary, Erin and Jessica, July 13th, 2002, honeymoon at the Wilderness Lodge. Ah, oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited to go back. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this. Again, I love making these. So if you want something custom, maybe it's Polynesian, maybe it's something else, you know what, run it by me because I would love to try and make one for you that you would love as much as we do. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching our video. I really do appreciate you. And I want to say, don't forget to click on that subscribe, that little owl that's going around in the circle. 
You can subscribe to our channel. We do all kinds of card making, paper crafting, scrapbooking, scrapping, paper crafting, you name it. We do it all. Um, and then we also take adventures, go do crafting and Disney stuff. So I'd love to see you around. And I'm going to pop up two more videos for you to watch. Take care.